such a lovely spring day. So I thought I would tackle my Edward Luton's bench. Now what I have done already is sanded it down. I'm going to go and get a damp cloth after I've finished doing this video and I'm going to give it a good wipe. Wiping over, I'll let that dry in the sun for an hour or so and then I'm going to prime the whole entire bench and then once it's been primed I'll let it dry for a day and tomorrow I shall put paint to bench and start the transformation it's going to look so good and it's going to complement my shed and my arch it's all going to be the same colour and it's going to look really good so I invite you to see the transformation before your very eyes. <laughs> I'm excited. And also, my delphiniums have started to hatch. <laughs> they are actually were born this morning. And it seems to be by the hour there's going to be more born. So it's very exciting. Very exciting day today. So here we are. Okay, so I have just finished priming and oh, I'm sick of painting by now. Tomorrow it should be dry and I shall get the bay tree paint on and then, hallelujah, it will be finished. And I don't want to do any more painting for the next 50 years. <sighs> Let me show you around the side. Oh, sorry, no you fell then. Yeah, all primed, ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah, <sighs> see you then. And here we are, Edward Luton's bench makeover. Looking rather French if I say so myself. Honestly, this would not be out of place in the gardens of Versailles or even Buckingham Palace. But no, it is in Harwood Garden. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I shall see you again very soon.